Hey fellow Imarvazi and welcome back to Let's Play This War of Mine. So this is a little bit awkward because this is going to be yet another new start, but I really didn't want to continue that previous game with only 10 inventory slots on everyone. And also, I've been experimenting with a few different things, which requires starting new games because you can't run more than one game at a time. So this will be another new shy, but I will be playing it a little bit differently than the previous two shies. And I hope I'll get a slightly better group, because I need inventory slots. Okay, I think this is a better group. Pavle, Marco... Oh yeah, this is a much better group. Pavle, Bruno and Marco, right. Yeah, that's good. Let's start loading then. Bruno is slightly wounded right at the start, which is not fantastic, I suppose. But whatever. He'll be fine. And... Someone was slightly sick? Yeah, Pavle is slightly sick. Oh well, whatever. Right, I can't open this without a crowbar. I will need a crowbar. So that's the priority right now, which means I need a metal workshop first. Let's dig through this. Pick this up. I'll make a workshop in just a second, actually. Metal workshop, I mean. This should almost be enough. Oh yeah, I can't open this. Right. I should have enough materials now. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I definitely have enough materials now. Right, so, metal workshop. Yep. Place it right here. And... I can open the door once that's done. Or once I get a crowbar. I got the charity chair. <laughs> you don't always get this chair, though. I had starts where I didn't. Get it? I thought it's always here, but no, it's not. Come on, hurry up with that workshop. Chop, chop. There we go, it's done. So, crowbar. Oh, great. I need two more components to make a crowbar. That's really unlucky. That's actually very unlucky. Oh, there's one more pile right here. Okay. Let's grab that then. Actually, Marco can do that. Go, go, go. I need that crowbar ASAP. It's 11 a.m. Did I get any components in that pile? Yes, I did. Okay, crowbar. Go upstairs again. Check this out. This is actually a pretty good group. I'm quite happy about this. Come on, hurry up. Get that crowbar done. Also, I'm not going to bother with a shovel this time around. I might make one eventually. But the thing is, shovel costs 4 wood and 7 components, if I'm not mistaken. So that's 4 inventory slots worth of salvage. That's a lot. Yeah, 4 wood and 7 components. Wood only stacks up to 2, and components stack up to 4. So, shovel is not worth for inventory slots worth of salvage on the first night. At least the way I see it. So I won't be making one right now. I'll probably make one eventually. But not yet. We have the proper tools. Right. Come on. There we go. Dig through this and hurry up. Hopefully I'll get some bandages and medicine. I probably will. Right here, for example. Or here. You'll be fine. Just use your hands. It's fine. And now we wait, basically. <laughs> There's no way to speed this up. Right, so I'm going to bring Marco for sure. Because he has 15 inventory slots. <laughs> Come on, people, hurry up. We don't have all day. Actually, we do kind of have all day, but don't tell them that. Are you done here? Almost. So what do we have so far? We got two lockpicks, not a lot of food, a little bit of clean water, five parts. 
Not awful. What do I mean by turn? Zero bandages and zero medicine. But I'll probably get some. Yeah, he doesn't feel very well, unfortunately. But he'll be fine. Okay, I might get some medicine in here. I won't be making a bed on the first day. I'll make one on the second day. Come on. Okay. Almost 6 p.m., so not much time left. Okay, we got some bandages. That's always good. But I won't be using them just yet. I'll only use them if someone gets more seriously wounded, not just slightly wounded. Open this. We got less than two hours left. Probably not enough time to dig through the piles of rubble in the basement. No, that's definitely not enough time to dig through that. Clean water box. Okay. That's fine. And the day is almost over. I can start digging through the rubble. I suppose I can. And we're pretty much done here. Not much else we can do, so let's end the day. It's almost over anyway, 20 minutes left. So. Oh, I don't have the house location on the first night. You usually get it. But I can go to the villa. I probably will. Alright, so Marco will go scavenge. Who's going to guard? Probably Pavle. Bruno is sadly wounded. I don't really want him to guard. Alright, let's go to the villa. I will go to the abandoned cottage, but not yet. I'll bring the crowbar with me. The house will be available on the second night. So I'll go there. Okay, I'll take all of this, for now at least. Let's move. I'm not sure who has any weapons in here. Or if these are all civilians. Let's go to the basement for now. I'd like to bring some food back. I'll take all of this for now. I can always drop some later. Okay. Keep moving. Nope. Can't go through here. Alright, I'll just go in. Yeah, she ran away. She's a civilian. Do they have anyone armed? Not sure about that one. They might. Oh no, I think they will grab a knife and then attack us if we start stealing. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. This guy? I think this guy will have a knife. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So I'm going to attack him. Probably. Well, in any case, if he attacks me, I'm going to attack him. Yeah, he will come back with a knife. So I'm just going to attack him. It's not a very nice thing to do, but whatever. She won't attack me because she's a civilian. This wasn't necessarily the plan. I was planning to go to the other location. Because this dude won't really have anything super useful, just a knife. And at the other location, you can get a shotgun. And the shotgun is awesome. You don't have to worry about getting raided when you have a guard with a shotgun. As long as you have enough ammunition. So that's kind of the plan. Getting the shotgun on the first night is just way too good. It's not very nice attacking people. And I tried to avoid it, but I had so many problems with raiders that getting the shotgun is just way too tempting. Right, do they have a fridge? Yes, they do. I need to bring some food back with me. 
So, do they not have any food in here, really? Where's their fridge? I'll just check everything. It's midnight, so I have a lot of time left. Let's see, parts. I would have to drop something. Four parts should be enough for now. Oh, maybe they have some bandages. That would be useful too. No, but they have medicine. That's definitely useful. I'll take that. Let's check upstairs. I'll just check everything. Before I leave. Parts. But I can't bring those. Nope. Okay, there should be something valuable in here. Because that's usually the case, if you have to use a crowbar. Let's find out. Medicine, yep, I'll take that. Ammunition. I will need ammunition. But that's just two ammunition. I'm not going to waste my inventory slots for that. Not really worth it. So, is there anything I didn't check? Probably. I think I checked all this. Oh yeah, I did. So, downstairs again. Did I check this? Can't load that. The basement. This way. Oh yeah, that's a fridge. Did I check that? No, I didn't, because... There has to be some food inside. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to drop some components. I need to bring food with me. That's the plan. Do I want to bring one canned food? Probably not. I don't think it's worth dropping wood or components to bring one canned food, although it might be. Alright, screw it. Let's bring one canned food. Okay. Basement. Just going to check before I leave. Wood. Probably the same on this pile. Yep, wood and components. Alright, let's run to the exit. Okay, so this wasn't necessarily the plan. But the other location wasn't available, which happens sometimes. But I'm going to continue with this game. This is a pretty good team. Now, there are consequences to actually doing this, because now he'll be sad and or depressed, but it's fine as long as he's not broken. We just have to talk with him. There are things you can do to boost your happiness a little bit. Come on. Okay, did anything happen? I pressed escape a little bit too quickly to speed it up. I don't think we got raided or anything like that. Okay. We need a bed right now. So let's make a bed real quick. That should be first. Because someone will have to sleep. So probably is slightly sick. We have some medicine, so we can use that right now. What are you doing? Oh, this is actually closed. Right. Well, that's kind of awkward. Let's open this then. No, not this way. Seriously? You're going to run all the way around? Yeah, yeah, Marco is not a very nice person. <laughs> I try to avoid doing this kind of thing, honestly. Because it feels kind of shitty. But oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I was really annoyed with the constant raids. I got raided even when I had the dude trained in combat. When I was boarded three times and had two guards posted. That was really annoying. Okay, he can rest. Yeah, he's sad. He's only sad, he's not depressed. Right, so what can we do? Yes, you're supposed to sleep. Bruno. We might want to make a stove. That's definitely a good idea. 
Right, let's make one then. Going to need it, that's for sure. Up here. And I still need to dig through these piles of rubble down there. In the basement. So the second location should open up. On the second night. I still want to get the shotgun. That's the whole plan. Get the shotgun. Which means we'll have to attack one more person, unfortunately. So that's what we're going to do. I need Marco to be rested, actually. So... He might want to rest... Around 1pm? Maybe 2pm? Bruno... You can sit down. You can actually go to the basement. Pavle can go to the basement for now. And Marco can go rest. He needs to be rested. Because he'll be salvaging on the next night. Not going to use any food just yet. I'll probably burn the box to get some fuel. Maybe, maybe not. I only have two. I can't actually do anything with them. So yeah, they are kind of useless right now. I don't need fall just yet, I'll just need it tomorrow. No, you're supposed to sleep. I was going to click Bruno. So let's check. What do we need now? What's next? I might want a rainwater collector because it's so easy to run out of clean water. I definitely want one. I might even prioritize that. I'm still not going to bother with the shovel, at least not yet. I got a knife because I stole one, I suppose. So that's a weapon. That's actually kind of good because now I'll have a shotgun and a knife. So I can have two armed guards. The crowbar still counts as a weapon, but I usually want to bring the crowbar with me. So then obviously it's not available for the guards. Come on, hurry up and dig faster. You can go sit down on the charity chair. Are you done yet? Come on, chop chop. 3 p.m. I'm sure you can do it. He's still slightly sick. He'll be fine. Bruno slept poorly. And he's slightly wounded still. Marco, still tired. I need him to not be tired for the next night. Come on. Are you done? You should be done. Do I have any lockpicks? Yes, I'm going to bring one lockpick with me. To the next new location. Alright, we're done. Let's check if there's anything good in here. Probably. There are usually some valuable things in here. What did we get then? 6 p.m. We got some books. Medicine, food, herbs. Now, there's one trick some people use. To not have their items stolen. But I don't think I'm going to do that. You can basically leave one item inside the container. And then put other items in it. It's probably not intended. I would say it's a little bit exploity. I don't really want to do that. And I would have to do that with the shotgun. That's the whole point of getting the shotgun. So yeah. Anyway. It's 7.30pm. So not enough time to do anything else really. I'll just end the day. Or it will end itself in 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, I still didn't get that location. Well, I can go to the supermarket with a weapon. You get one of the two events at the supermarket. Sometimes you have to kill a soldier. But sometimes there are just some looters. Who will let you loot whatever you want. Well, we'll go to the supermarket then. My plan didn't quite work out. I will not get a shotgun. I'll probably still get one later. 
So, alright, who's going to sleep? Who's going to guard? So, Pavle is on meds and slightly sick. I think it's better if, if he's the one who's going to guard and Bruno can sleep because he slept poorly and he's slightly wounded. Okay, that sounds good. Marco can scavenge at the supermarket. Let's go. I will bring the crowbar with me. I probably won't need it. Well, actually, yeah, I might need it if I have to kill the soldier. Might be better to bring a knife instead of the crowbar, but crowbar can be useful to open some containers with. So crowbar will be generally better. Okay, let's go. No, these are the looters. So they are not aggressive. They will just let me loot whatever I want. Hi. What up? Yes, me. So yeah, they will just let me loot. You can attack this guy if you really want to, but that's not such a good idea. I never actually tried. He has an assault rifle or whatever. Definitely not a good idea to attack him. Alright, let's grab all the valuable stuff. I probably want to prioritize food, medicine and bandages. I'll just load everything for now and then drop it. But I definitely want to prioritize food. So we'll see. I'm actually glad I didn't get the other event where I would have to kill a soldier. Because I'll still have to kill one more person. Yes, you don't know how to get there. Use your legs, I'm just saying. Alright, we'll go outside later. Let's go upstairs first. I can run, it's fine. No food here. Come on. I need some good stuff. I'm sure there's some good stuff in here. Well, nothing amazing so far. But I'm really glad I got Marco again. He has so much inventory space. It's a huge difference between Marco and having three people with 10 inventory slots. That's 50% more inventory space. So I can salvage as much in two nights with Marco as I could with my previous game. That's a massive difference. So any food in here? Okay, there's some food. I'll have to drop some of this. I need the vegetables, that's for sure. I don't need the sugar just yet. I might bring the coffee. I should have checked if I have any people with any addictions. I have no idea, actually. So, I can drop weapon parts for now. I'll bring the coffee. I'll take the one part. It's not amazing. But parts are required for a lot of things. Scavenge again. Okay. I can't loot any of this. I will need clean water too, but... I think I can pass. That's just one clean water, not really worth it. Let's check upstairs. Or the roof, in this case. Okay, can't really loot any of this. Well, I can loot the one component. Oh, right. I don't really need gunpowder all that much. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Going down. I might want to bring some more components, maybe. Let's see what we can find in the first place. Can't get any more without starting a new stack. Anything here? I expected to find more good stuff in here. Okay, I got seven parts, which is quite nice. Parts can be a little bit annoying to find. At least that's been my experience so far. I'm just loading things. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff down here. More parts. Yep, I'll take them. Okay, eight parts is enough. Even if I find more, two stacks of parts on night two is enough. Okay, keep moving. Anything here? I'm almost done. Okay, medical ingredients. That won't be useful in the nearest future, but... 
It will be used for later on. Much later. Yeah, actually, I probably don't want to waste my inventory slots for that. Let's see what else we can find here. So, load that. Clean water. Okay, more medical ingredients. I'll take that because that's a full stack. Broken shotgun. Oh. Okay. I don't remember if you need a level 2 or level 3 metal workshop for a shotgun. But a broken shotgun is good. Ammunition. Okay, I'll need to drop some of this. I'll drop the coffee. Get the moonshine. I'll drop the tobacco. Get the ammunition. Anything else? Take the food. That's all of it for now. Okay, so I got the broken shotgun. That wasn't necessarily the plan. But I might change my plans a little bit now. Maybe I won't have to kill anyone else. We shall see. Okay, can't loot any of this. I think I'm good. I could drop the roll-up cigarette, I guess. I probably should. Oh, no, I'm not quite done yet. Let's drop the roll-up cigarette. Not sure what I want to replace it with just yet. Good question. Cigarette? I think so. Herbal meds can be useful too, but that's just one. Let's open this first. See if there's anything valuable inside. Okay, yeah. Food! I don't even need a new stack for that. This was a pretty good night for us. Alright, I think we can go back now. I checked everything. And I don't think I want to replace any of these items. I could replace the herbs. That's the least useful stack that I have on me. But I would need a full stack of something to justify replacing that, really. I suppose I could grab more parts? It's almost 3am, I need to hurry up. I got maybe one, two more hours. Yeah, two clean water is like one-fifth of max stack. I think it stacks to ten. Right, go back. Did I check these two piles? More parts? Okay, that's ten parts total. The parts will be useful. Nope. Okay, go back upstairs. I'll need to get out of here soon, in the next hour probably. So anything else I can find? Did I leave any parts behind? One more hour and then I'll need to leave. I'll check these two piles and then just get out of here. Oh, I can get one more ammunition, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. No, that's shell casings, not ammunition. Alright, I'll check this pile and then get out of here. Two weapon parts. If I want to make a shotgun from the broken shotgun, I'll need weapon parts. Let's get out of here. Oh, maybe check this pile before I leave. Was there anything here that I might want to bring? No, just one component. Okay, let's get out of here then. 4 a.m. Okay, day three. That was a pretty good day for us. All things considered, or a pretty good night in this case. We'll have to eat right about now because people will, will be starving. We've been raided. Did anything happen? Someone tried to rob us, blah blah blah. We had some weapons. Bruno was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. Oh, Bruno has some deep wounds. That's annoying. And this is day three. I do have some bandages, but I'm not sure if that will be enough. In any case, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.